Time now for our Coors Cold Hard Facts. Tony Perez, Major League Baseball's only Cuban-born Hall of Famer from the Major Leagues. 23 seasons, 379 homers, 1,652 runs driven in. And it's been a pleasure to be able to turn to you during batting practice for my last 12 years and ask you questions. Tony Perez, of course, a special assistant to uh, the general manager here. And uh, for you, I want to get your perspective. We'll talk about your son's broadcasting career <laughs> soon. I want to get your perspective on where you came from, what you went through in the major leagues, and what you see today with, with players like Jose and Danny Echeverria and Tomas and Cespedes, Abreu, and players who have are starting to come. There are more and more Cubans playing in the big leagues. Well, uh, what I see right now is uh, these players now that got the opportunity to play in the big leagues. I mean, everybody knows what happens. Uh, I was one of the, the last uh, coming out of Cuba at that time, and, uh, and, some, and that was closed for, uh, for a while. Uh, we don't have no more Cuban players coming up, but right now we got a lot of those kids uh, coming and, uh, and doing a great job. Um, and more and more we come, and, and I'm very happy about it because uh, uh, Cuban players still, you know, and uh, uh, playing, mm -hmm. and we can, you know, compete with with another countries because they got ahead of us uh, at that time. Now, from your generation, one of my favorite baseball people is Cookie Rojas. Cookie. And, and Cookie was instrumental, certainly, in, in you know, blazed a, a trail for a lot of Cuban players. Well, uh, Cookie played in Cuba. Uh, I, I remember watching him play because I was a little younger and, and I was on my way up um, playing in the minor leagues and stuff. But, and then when I got to the building, I played against Cookie when they were Philadelphia. And, and, and really, I was uh, so exciting about it because uh, there was Cookie there and, and, and Tony Taylor and some other Cubans. And, uh, and I really, uh, it was something uh, different for me because, you know, where I come from, it was a small town and uh, we listened to the games, uh, especially the winter ball, and, and we don't have a chance uh, uh, to, to see a lot of Billy games and be with those guys playing in the building, that was something for me. I really, I was very exciting about it. How did you learn, and, and this has always been phenomenal for me to understand and really difficult to grasp, but how did you learn how to drive those runs in to go the other way? You're like, because you had a way of being able to do that that no one else could do. How were you, how were you able to do that? Well. Growing up uh, in, in my hometown, we used to play against each other, you know, because we play everywhere. And we used to play and we and we want to win all the time. And, uh, and we play, we don't play hardball, but we didn't throw it. We play soft, like a, with, with a baseball, we, we play soft. And we play games or what closer. And and we play for something. Uh, you, we bear something and, uh, and, and then, uh, you get the big hit, uh, you're a hero there and for, for all the guys, uh, for your teammate, the guy, the team you play for. And, uh, and that was something I learned. I, I, I learned how to win games, I learned how to uh, help the pitchers, and uh, I know for I drove in wrong, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help. Rich, this is really weird talking to my dad in English. I want to <laughs> let you know this right now, all right? <laughs> I had not thought of that, but I, I suspect you're, you're right. <laughs>